Hi and welcome to another video. In this video I just wanted to review the uh, new TP-Link pass-through power line starter kit. Um, as I, I needed this to um, connect with some new project I've got going where uh, you might have seen in my other videos where I am now um, just built a PFSense router and uh, that will be connecting to my Asus uh, GTAX 11000 acting as the wireless access point. Um, so for one of the devices that I was uh, actually connecting with, um, I don't have enough Ethernet cable and I didn't want to run it across the house. Started uh, and causing lots more trouble. So I've given this one a try. I had a look at the reviews. I've seen there is a ones that are on Amazon that are cheaper than this. Um, but this one was quite good because I had very good reviews but also um, it does have what difference is it has the gigabit Ethernet ports. A lot of them you'll see where they're saying they're like um, gigabit uh, capable or they're using the AV1000. And actually their ports on there, um, the Ethernet port you're plugging into are actually only 10 or 100 megabits uh, per second ports. Um, so it defeats the purpose of how they're saying it, it can reach them speeds of 600 or 1000 when the ports can only reach a uh, maximum of 100. Um, so I don't understand how that works, but I got this one anyway, and this was the um, probably the most budget version that actually had everything I wanted. Um, there are more powerful ones you can get faster, but as I saw this one, it had the gigabit ports I wanted to pass through so I can still plug in devices through the plug. That's important so I don't waste a plug. Um, and also it came with the ethernet cables um, and it also works with all broadband providers as well because how it connects. So as you can see here on the side of the box here, um, it just goes through the diagram and then it tells you about all the different parts in here. We can go through that later. Um, and it's just also saying about the connections and how you, you uh, pair them. And we can go through on those bits there. So as you can see here on the box, it's actually stating the compatibility. So it does have home plug AV and AV2 um, power line adapters. Um, that also connects more devices by adding more adapters. So you can get more if you want of these devices, uh, the power line adapters and plug them in other places. Uh, it's good that it's got encryption. So it's got 128 bit AES encryption. So you do have to pair them up to use the encryption and we can see the button later. Um, you can see over the wiring as well, so it's over three, up to 300 meters or 1,000 feet over existing electrical wiring in your house. But again, if you do have like a, a fuse box or anything like that that might interrupt it or it's on a different circuit, like you've got a garage and things like that, then just be wary that these might not work if you plug one in the garage and one in your house. Because uh, they're on separate circuits, they won't see each other. So just be wary of that. And as it says here, it's got LEDs, so it's quite good. It shows you the power when it's on and the power line when it's connected and also the Ethernet uh, when that's actually plugged in and working as well. So as you can see, it comes with the two uh, pass-through power line adapters um, and it comes with two Ethernet cables and a quick start guide. So it's quite straightforward on how it comes through. And also you can see here, they've just mocked it up on the how a bit how you actually do it and the, it's using the AV2 standard and it's got the gigabit Ethernet ports as well and a power saving option. So now we can move on to actually unboxing. Uh, so it comes in quite a sturdy box and everything as I said, it comes with everything you need as well So and nothing more so it's uh, very straightforward and everything so you can see. Um, so yep, so as it says here comes with a quick start guide and it gives you an idea As it said it is very quite straightforward um, and uh, on the instructions um, it does also bring your attention to that just be wary that it's not a good idea to plug them into a power strip I think you can um, but it does uh, degrade the performance and sometimes it might not work at all so uh, just be wary of that as well as it says but as it says use your existing electrical wiring in your house um, so th that's uh, quite good so it's quite straightforward and as we said on here it comes with two two of the adapters in the packaging so you've got them here 
and so the maximum on these UK ones are 13 amps and also in the box it comes with two Ethernet cables. Um, so if we just have a quick look at these, so as we see here in the start guide, and as you said it does come with a three year warranty that's quite good as well um, for everything. So as we can see here, um, on the adapters here, these ones are uh, three pin, so these are UK ones, um, and you can see here, so you can see here it's got input of 100 to 240 volts, and 13 amps, and output is 13 amps, maximum load. You've got your serial number and the power line serial numbers as well, and the model, so this particular model is the TL um, slash PA 7017P TP link. So as you can see, it's got some ventilation holes there um, and on e either side and the plug. So it does have the three LEDs, like it said. So that's to show when you've switched it on, uh, when you actually paired the devices. So you can see when that goes green, then both of them are paired. And then also this is when the Ethernet cable is in plugged in the bottom. So as you can see here, you've got the Ethernet port. So as we said, it's the, the one gigabit port. Um, so it's quite good and unlike um, the 10 or 100 um, speed uh, ones you get in the other ones. And here is the pairing button, so you can see there's a pairing button on both of them. It's straightforward, once you've plugged them into your um, sockets and they're powered on, you see the green lights. Um, at least you get the two, two green lights uh, on the top there. Um, then you just push pair on the bottom of this one, and then you walk over and you push the pair button on this one. This will then actually uh, pair them and uh, set up the encryption as well between them so you've got the security of that as well the ethernet cable it comes with it comes with a quite good length um, ethernet cable so that's good to see as well it doesn't have any markings on there to see what category or what cat the uh, cable is but i presume a minimum is going to be cat 5e um, because it's got gigabit here as well so they'll bring there but as the quality of the ethernet cable is really good as well um, it's not cheap, um, so it's the shielding on here feels quite good, so it's quality and everything, the cable they give to you. And as I said, it's quite a good length they give to you on here as well. So yeah, so um, what I'm going to do is do uh, next is do a quick speed test to see what it is. So what I'm going to do is plug this one um, into where I've got into another room where my computer is, and then I'm going to plug the Ethernet port into the back of the computer and then into the back of here. And then I'm gonna plug this one into where my router is. And then of course, the router cable from here will go into the back of my router. Um, and then we'll do a quick speed test to see um, what the speeds are. As we said, it does say a uh, thousand uh, megabits per second power line, and it's got the gigabit. So it does do that, but you've got to remember, you're probably never gonna get anywhere near a thousand or even 500. Um, so uh, it all depends on your wiring in your house as well that degrades it so um, you might not be able to get other full speeds and everything but um, we'll give it a test and we'll uh, we'll come back and then have a look so now we're going to quickly complete a iperf test and what iperf is is um, multi-platform so you can get the apps for your iPhone uh, so iOS um, you can get it for your Apple Mac, uh, Windows, uh, Linux. Um, so you can get it everywhere. And basically you set up, if you want to do a test, speed test, it's normally very good for throughput. Of course, this is trying to get as real world figures as possible. Um, so you can choose here the time, duration, the streams and the uh, transmit mode. So you can either you show your test your download and upload. So I've uh, started a um, server on my um, router and then uh, of course the other uh, power line plug is plugged into that and then this one is plugged into um, my computer uh, here. And uh, so as you can see here, I've set it to automatic. Um, so you can see that it's actually at speed of uh, 1000 base T um, and it's full duplex flow control and it's and uh, standard uh, 1500 so that the MTU is normally um, how big the uh, packets are and the packet size uh, so 1500 is the standard 
So as we can see here, I can just uh, quickly run the test now. So we'll quickly do the 30 second and then we'll do the download. So I can start it. Again, as we said before, we need to be expectations that we're not going to get anywhere near the, the thousand they say. And I think I've seen some other reviews as well where other people um, get varying results as well. And again, this is all depends on where it's plugged into, how far away, and then also um, how good your um, wiring in your house is. Um, so for what I want this for, um, it's, it's the best scenario I could get for the money as well um, on a budget. And I'm quite happy that I'm still getting. So you can see there with five streams, I'm getting 145. Um, and the maximum was uh, 160 it reached there. And that's download from my uh, router. So it's straight from the, it's easy to do a test on there. So I now just do an upload. So that means it's I'm sending data now to my router. Um, so we'll start that. And we do again, we'll do a 30 second test. And that's five five uh, simultaneous streams of data that's going to the router. And just so you know that, as you can see here, if anyone is interested and uh, wanted to change it, um, when I first set them up, you set it this uh, to automatic, but later on you can change the MTU to, if you do have supporting hardware, to jumbo packets. So that changes this from 1500, I believe, to 9000. So that's supposed to help with an increase in speed slightly. Um, and we can try that now, in fact. So as you said here, we've got 160 um, and the max was 171. So that's the upload speed. So as I said, it does, it's not what they advertise, but um, it's good enough for me and then for most home users, to be honest. And at least you don't have to start running ethernet cables around and everything else. But nowadays, now we've got Wi-Fi um, that is probably even faster in my okay um in this situation um it doesn't really make, make sense for the power line adapters but i did need an ethernet so let's see if the uh, jumbo packets make any difference so um i just go to manual and i can change this to jumbo and then okay and then apply and you'll see it resets the ethernet and it comes back so then we've got so as you can see here, we've got the jumbo now is selected and it's connected. And let's see on the download if it makes any difference. Again, this is the five streams in 30 seconds. So it look, looks like it's not making any difference really. Um, I didn't think it would. Um, my, my router that I've got it connected to does support jumbo frames. Um, so you just got to make sure your hardware and everything else supports it. But as we see here, it doesn't make much difference. So, and I think for the most home user, we'll just leave it on automatic anyway. So we would never really need to change it. Um, so yeah, so this has been the uh, speed test and the, the unboxing. Uh, I must say that um, I think with the three year warranty, it gives me a bit more security um, on these uh, pass through power line kits from TP Link. Um, and it's got enough power there to stream 4K like it says and gaming consoles. Um, and I think I'm being quite happy with it uh, for the price. And it does have a power saving mode as well. So it reduces its energy consumption by 85% when you're not needing it and it's not in use. Um, so that's really good. So I hope you've enjoyed this uh, video. And uh, if you have any questions as usual, uh, leave them in the comments and uh, I'll try and answer as much as I can. Okay, have a great day.